folks at Blender Foundation have recently released the projects to look forward to in 2024. Some of the projects that the folks at Blender Foundation have mentioned are also projects that will be considered as leftover projects from 2023, and some of the beautiful projects that were mentioned in 2023 actually came to fruition. Now, before we talk about 2024 projects to look forward to, let's take a look at some of the ones that were mentioned in 2023. Now in 2023, we did see that Vulkan and Metal were supposed to make a full appearance as Vulkan is a cross-platform successor of OpenGL with many opportunities to improve performance and new features like ray tracing. The folks at Blender Foundation also mentioned that they will invest developer time to finish migration to the Vulkan graphics API in 2023. That doesn't seem to be the case. Although sometime in October of 2023, we did see an update to the Vulkan project as this was the first time we got to see Vulkan in experimental and the developers at Blender Foundation did mention that after finishing the migration to Vulkan, new development project can be started utilizing the newly available GPU features. Currently, Vulkan is in experimental, so for anyone who would like to take a look at this or probably you'd like to read up and follow this up, then you can simply go ahead and check it out. And I kind of think that Vulkan might be making its way to 4.1 or 4.2, as most times when the folks at Blender Foundation makes an announcement of a feature in experimental, it mostly takes after one or two releases for us to get it as a full feature release. And for 2023, we did see that Blender Metal Viewport was integrated in Apple devices. The GPU backend for Apple devices is now Metal, and the render times look super nice. We actually made a full video about this, comparing both scenes and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So for those who like to check up on this one, then you can go ahead and see this for yourself. Real-time viewport compositing also made its appearance in Blender in 2023, as this made its very initial appearance in Blender 3.5. It was very interesting to see that finally, in Blender 4.0, which was the last Blender version to be released in 2023, we did get the real-time viewport compositor with a couple of filters and also functions that artists can work with. Brush asset system were part of the projects to look forward to, but that didn't make it. We also saw the Blender apps, which is one of the ones that we've talked about severally on the channel, and that also didn't make it to a completed project for 2023. Extension platforms were also talked about as a community moderated website for sharing, discovering, and downloading add-ons, themes, and also asset libraries, and that was also on hold. EV Next was also not completely visualized. Of course, we did see one or two samples of what EV Next can be, but we didn't see this make it to final fruition. But then Simulation Node made its debut and it was heavily accepted by the community. Although things like proper physics are not yet available in the Simulation Node, but it is just enough to get some amazing visuals like this done. The Hydra Render Delegate and also some USD improvements we did see come over to Blender in 2023. Now for Blender 2024, extension platform seems to be something that they are really, really focused on creating as this platform, like we mentioned earlier, will be a platform where artists and also developers will be able to share, download add-ons, themes, and also asset library. And they're looking at making this come to light as soon as possible. A GPU-based compositor might be something that I kind of think will finally make it as they're looking at adding new features and unifying the behavior across CPU and GPU compositing. EVNX is something everyone is being extremely excited about and having this come over to a version of Blender in 2024 will definitely be a work in development. The Grease Pencil 3.0 did see a little bit of a limb light sometime last year as Grease Pencil is currently undergoing a full rewrite aiming to lay a solid foundation for the next 10 years. And of course, this will lead to increased performance and memory usage and also pave the way for new features to come over to Grease Pencil. And this also includes geometry nodes. Although going by the timeline, Grease Pencil 3.0 was supposed to be released with Blender 4.0. But be that as it may, this wasn't included as part of the roadmap for 2023. Rather, this came in as a principal project to be expected for Blender 4.0 release. And to be fair, with the 4.0 release note, you would notice that for Sculpt, Paint, and Grease Pencil, the key maps are now updated. Other than that, there were no updates for Grease Pencil for 4.0 based off the timeline that was set earlier. So my guess is, for 4.1 or 4.2, we might probably start seeing the initial implementation of Grease Pencil 3.0. And for the brush asset, this system was one that we did see over and over. Like for example, if you take a look at the strategic targets for 2022, you'd notice that there's something about texturing. Now this actually evolved into the brush and asset draft, which is something that was more of a proposal of how the system would work. And of course, this was sometime in 2022 as well. Down over to 2022 December, we saw a little bit of a more updated flow of how this will integrate with the asset shelf. And ever since then, we've not really seen 
seen any updates in this regard. And this would be quite refreshing to see come over to a version of Blender in 2024. And for those who are looking for plugins that they can use to do all of this, there are definitely some of them I'm going to link in the description so you can check them out. And with all the above mentioned, the folks at Blender Foundation are also thinking about working on some other stuff within the second quarter of 2024. And these include pipeline and assets, sculpting and painting, physics and simulation, tablet input mapping, and GPU project. More so, there are also some interesting things that they are looking at also pursuing within the year, which includes three planned major releases for Blender 4.1, 4.2 LTS, and 4.3. And in April, the first American Blender conference will take place in Los Angeles, and this will be running from 19th to 20th of April of 2024. And for those who like to sign up or probably sponsor the event, then you can come through and check all of this right here. More so, Cycles, USD, and other modules will still continue their schedule cycle. And for the third and fourth quarter of the year, there are certain ideas and announcements that they have which they would release closer to the date. So medium and long time project include Blender apps which we already talked about before. Currently there is no resources for this and probably this would be on pause for the time being. The layer texture is something that with a bit of luck that will start in the second quarter of 2024 this might come to a version of Blender this year. And finally the full move to Vulkan might happen within the second quarter of 2024 but my guess is for Blender 4.2. So this is it. Lots of things that the folks at Blender Foundation are looking at creating. I'm very, very happy about the fact that this year they're focusing on every other thing minus Geometry Node. As I believe for the past two years, they have invested a lot of resources in Geometry Node. But I think right now is the time to start looking at other sections of Blender. For those who like to read up on all of this, and probably you like to check on with all of the projects that have been mentioned, then links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And a huge shout out to the folks at Blender Foundation for making this possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.